All right, y'all, what is up? It's your boy Dion Drill. I'm back at it with another video. Oh, another review, okay, for this Bad vs. Wild. Right, this is what, episode five, four. Y'all see the title pretty much. Um, This was the fake BBLs versus natural. So, team fake versus team natural, right? And before I get into this, I want to say, hey, TT and Vanity episode is better than this. I hate to be the one. I thought that was the worst episode, TT and Vanity. But I think we got a new contender for the worst episode. And I, it's, it wasn't a bad episode, honestly, but it wasn't good either. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it was just all right, honestly. At least we had the fake drama and the carrying on with TT and Bandit now. But all right, all right, all right. So let's get into the Bad vs. Wild review. All right. So first thing first, I look at the thumbnail and... I see Brittany, like, Brittany Renner laying down on the floor. So, I'm like, what's going on? Like, this is going to be good. Like, okay, let's get into it, right? Okay, so we introducing the girls. We have Marissa Denae. She was cute. Um, Michelle looked like somebody, uh, and her eyes was, like, wide apart and stretched. The Double Dose Twins. That was Michelle from the Double Dose Twins. Like, their eyes are very wide, and they're, they're already, like, far apart. And they're, like, wide, like, stretched out. You know what I'm saying? Like, the width is, like, long. Like, they got long eyes. So, yeah. Um, Janelle was definitely juggling what the doctor gave her. Most of the girls we don't know from Team Bad. However, we got Team Wow with Brittany Renner. She had this tall-ass afro, which was a no for me in the intro. Um, It just looked like a fake mess. Like, I don't know what that was on top of her head. However, when the episode did you know when they was going through the episode it looked better like when she was on stage actually doing the bad versus wild games and stuff it actually looked better right because that afro was looking a mess of her it was like a fake mess at the top um <clears throat> and i wonder was it real because nick was like um Brittany, we see you all natural you got the hair out so is that a wig or is it real because <laughs> like yeah let me drink some water real quick Besides that, Team Wild definitely ate down for me. We had Smalls. We had Soldier Girl. Um, Soldier Girl reminded me of Glorilla, too. Like, her and Glorilla got the same same vibe going on, you know. Uh, Soldier Girl, voice not deep, but they got the same vibe. Same petite size, like, the the bubbly personality, always smiling. Like, they definitely get the same vibes for sure. Like, they could be like Glorilla, like, Twin Flame, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah. Um, Brittany Renner brought her sister. I never heard of her sister before, so she, I guess she brought her sister. Um, and I need to see. Well, I wanted to see if DJ Scott was gonna be on Team Natural or Fake because if y'all remember on Baddies South, or might have been West, DJ Scott in a limo with I think Low London. Yeah, it was Low London and um and Cat. I think. Was Lolanda Cat on the same season? I don't know, but Lolanda was definitely in the limo, right? So they asked DJ Scott straight up. They was like, is your booty fake? And she was like, no, you see it, Jiggle. It's real. It's all real back here. It's all natural. And everybody was like, mm, we don't know about that. Even, like, the Twitter comments was like, we don't know if that thing is real. Like, that thing look fake. But she was like, it's all real behind here. So just to see DJ Scott get on team fake. And I hope somebody really clock her on Twitter and be like, but wasn't you just saying it was real? Like, she didn't get work done because it's still the same size, I think. But, like, come on now. Like, you said it was real. Now you're on Team Fake. Scotty looked good walking out. I think she had on Mugler, like the tights or whatever she was wearing, looked very good. Um, Maybe a little bit baggy, but it still looked good on her, right? I think the tights just overall just looked good no matter what. Biggie looked a mess as usual. You can see the FUPA sticking out through the tights. You know, I really rock with Biggie. I used to. I used to. I just stopped, like, as of today, after that fight. <laughs> I'm going to be real with y'all. Like, I used to. I respect and support Biggie when she does speak out and speaks up for herself. However, she be looking a mess every time. The audition, she got the car looking a mess with her legs open. This, she looking to match just the full but just, I don't know, like, maybe she should have wore a dress. I don't know. I don't I really don't know. Tata Scott says the only thing real on her is her heart. The Double Dose Twins, I'm waiting for them to say something. They haven't said a word. All they're doing is feeling on themselves and, and shaking their butt. Not twerking, but shaking their butt. Because I don't think, like, only Janelle can really twerk her BBL, like, 
them double those twins, all they can do is shake it, you know, like move it in circles, but you know, be and the twins just be, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, um, my stance on getting a BBL, I feel like it has to look, I don't know, I really don't know, because I haven't dated a girl in so long, so like, I really don't know. Because I wanted to say, if you got the money, do it, which is true. Like, girls have the right to do what they want to do. Like, you know, humans do with their body or whatever, pretty much. But I don't know if I'll be attracted to BBL if you got that fake, big, plastic butt. I think I like, like, yeah, I don't like really BBLs like that. Like, I like the 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 booties, but not like big booties. Like, you can tell a girl got a boot, like a, a butt. I like a butt, not a booty. Well, I like a booty, but like a small booty. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all get what I'm saying. <laughs> um, when LJ Plummer came on the screen to like start the show or whatever, we see Stoney, and for her to be a hairstylist and all that, she was looking a mess. Like the the red weave was like looking cheap. It wasn't. It wasn't. Like, it didn't look like quality material at all. Like she was looking a mess next to Godola. Um, yeah, Blueface comes out and performs his song. I like Blueface, honestly. He's an Aquarius like me, so he's a mastermind. You gotta give it up to the guy. Like, <laughs> you gotta give it up to him. He performed um this song called Do It, right? So you gotta get up. I'm not the one who made the rules. Left, right? Let me see you do it. Left. All I can think of SoCal Barbie doing that. Left. Right. Like, yeah, that's a song for sure. Um, he was doing a lot of moving and dancing in his performance. Um, he gave he gave what's supposed to be gay, right? So yeah, the double those twins still just rubbing on themselves and, and shaking. Team Natural had way more energy when they came out. The chemistry was there, you know, team wire pretty much. They came out yelling homegrown, 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 which I gotta respect it. I, I like homegrown more than BBL. I'm not gonna lie to that, but I'm not gonna knock a girl for getting a BBL, but however, that's not for me. That's not my preference, you dig? Um, round one was Shake Some, which is my, believe it or not, unpopular opinion. This is my favorite game of the Bad vs. Wild series. Like, when they be, hey, 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 red light, hey, 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 hey. Like, I, I really, I really fuck with that game, like, for real. Um, Janelle was making that thing clap. She's the only one that could really make her BBL clap to me, it looked like. Smalls was shaking something. Um, Scott put her leg up on the boob and was trying to move her booty, but nothing was moving at all. Like the the BBL wasn't moving. Like it was stiff. It was very stiff. Like she was going up and down, but like the BBL was just it was going up and down with her. Like it wasn't no no jiggle, no wobble. You know, it, it was just going up and down. Like <laughs> double dose was uh I think the the double dose twins booty was moving. I put it in my notes, so it has to be moving. So this girl was throwing that little thing in the circle. The hash FD in the crowd. Um, DJ Sky booty just looked nasty when she was trying to twerk. Like it just looked, it looked nasty. Like the legs and the butt to the side, how wide it is. Like it just, it didn't look right. It gave ant booty. It gave persuasion in them. Like it, it didn't look good at all. Um, Biggie was shaking her little flat back too. Like gotta give her credit for that. Speaking of flat back, I miss flat back. You know, one more chance flat back. Um, they made a game like last really long. Um, they was getting out on time. I was like, okay, we might be on something. Like, this is the most they have done in the Bat vs. Wild series so far as of this episode. Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, they continue with the game or whatever. And Scott throws a pillow at Brittany Renner and hitting the back of her head while she, like, laying facing down, right? So, then, uh, DJ Scott gonna say, I mean, uh, Titus Scott gonna say, oh, I'm sorry, I did not mean to do that. Well, who did you mean to throw it at? <laughs> We're trying to throw it at somebody in the crowd or what? Like, <laughs> what was that? Um, Brittany, Bo- Brittany Renner, booty was moving on red light, but like a lot of people didn't notice. Um, Brittany Renner supposedly won. Brittany Renner is a beautiful girl. Um, she moves with so much poise. Like she has this vibrant, positive energy about her. But I need to see, I need to like do my research on her and find out more things about her because she's always in the news for something quote unquote problematic. But I have to see for myself if it's really if it's really problematic or do she just speak her mind? You know, because Nick Cannon says she speak her mind and don't give it up. So I need to I need to read really the cipher like is she problematic or do she just speak the truth? You know, so that's why we need to know Brittany Renner for sure, for sure. 
I might let me know if y'all want to see me do a reaction video to me googling and finding out things about Britney Renner because I can do that, right? Like I did with Stunning Girl. Second game is called Pass the D, which is a new game. Woo, woo, gotta give it up to them. Pass the D, um, butt edition. I, I'm saying butt because I don't, I don't want to say the A word like that because yeah. Um, this game is where you're supposed to transfer the cucumber from your butt. I mean, from <laughs> from your mouth. <laughs> to somebody but um t reached the end of the line so it's supposed to be like mouth but mouth but mouth but mouth but right so uh cut scene real quick we see janice is that her name the lemmy a plumber wife she's looking good in the background really blurred out with her adult and cabana top on sparkling all that so we get to this game They was during the game, the whole time. You know, so you know how it's supposed to be mouth to butt, mouth to butt, mouth to butt, mouth to butt. They doing mouth to mouth to mouth to butt to mouth. Like I thought, why is there so much mouth to mouth going on? Like that's not how the game goes. So y'all need to really control y'all game. Like what's going on? So, and then we get Sky, Taddy Sky up here. She was acting high. She was acting drunk. Her eyes be like this every time. On a reunion, she was like this slumped. Like, girl, what do you be on? They talk about Tommy, but what do you be on? Is it because you're unproblematic? And people just, I'm a clock it. I'm a clock it. I'm a clock it. For sure. Like, like what? Well, like, I don't know what Sky be on, but whatever she be on, let's see Let's see the sober Sky. Like, come on now. You be coming to every show, high, drunk. I don't know. I don't know if it's perks, allegedly. I don't know what it is. Um... So she get a cucumber, she moving on slow with it, and then she be talking to other teams, and we be waiting on her to finish talking. <laughs> like, what are we doing? Um, and then the mouth to mouth thing, like, you know, I watched, you know, the Netflix is the the Love Islands, right? And how they do the mouth to mouth, all the kissing, you kiss him, now she kiss her, or not she kiss him and he kiss her, like a different girl pretty much. You know, I don't know if I could do that out of saliva going around. I guess I would because you know, I'm a freak. But, like, I would hope that they get, like, tested, you know, checked or something because it's just too much mouth to mouth. You know, double those twins probably be getting around. So, allegedly. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't really don't know them. But, you know, you know how I go. I, I've seen them before. Um, Team Wild was completely doing mouth to mouth. For the most part, like they only did one butt thing, but most of it was mouth to mouth with the cucumber. Um, while they was about to get to their third point, uh, DJ Scott ended up taking a cucumber and throwing it, woohoo, I guess, and they declared it as a tie. Like, I need to work on y'all points, like y'all point management, y'all point scoring, because how was that a tie? Like, it should have just been, I, I, I could see that a little bit, like, it's better than saying no point. So just give them a tie is the same thing. But I don't know. The point system a little a little fraudulent to me. Round three, we got musical chairs again. Like how many games do y'all have? Five? Y'all just be picking from the five of them. And we just got an extra game, the the pass to D challenge. Out the out the lucky slot today. Like so let's play musical chairs and smalls kept trying to twerk like on every chair. Like you're not know supposed to go in circles, go around a chair. Smalls kept going to each chair and twerking in the air, like Twerking, you know, facing the chair, like, girl, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Janelle was like, they not even, they not even moving. And it was like, keep moving, keep moving, and yeah, Smalls was just like, I don't know. So, um, while teams end up winning because of the music stop, Brittany and her sister basically grabbed the uh the chair from Janelle as she was trying to hold on the team bad, but Brittany and her sister ended up grabbing the chair from her and sitting down. Hey, you gotta get it how you live. So, team wide end up winning. Um, so, okay, this is another breakdown of the episode, how I feel about the episode, I wrote in these notes, this episode isn't bad, but I don't know, maybe the bad versus wild concept doesn't give, and the reason I say that is because it's like a double-edged sword, like, we want to see games, we want to see them play games, yes, however, when we get them playing games, I feel like... It depends. It's, it's all about the personalities, to be honest. Because, like last episode with TT and Vanity, that it was a couple personalities that made the the show, you know, 
kind of good, you know, kind of watchable, right? But you get this episode, they're playing all the games, but it's like zero personality there. So we're bored. So we need some games with personalities, and I think that's what we're really missing. I don't think it's it maybe a little drama too, because it's like we get the games, you know, but we're bored. And then we get the drama with the fights and all that, but we don't get the games. So maybe we want an episode combined with drama fights and games and personality drama games and personality like that's what we need in a bad versus white episode like i feel like that's the key to it right okay um and i also thought like maybe they needed to release like shows like now this tv how they pick a random group of girls or girls y'all know that people like and they put them together in the house for a weekend which is something that zeus won't ever do because they release shows like what like three times a year Compared to now, this TV that we're releasing every two months. So it, it's a big difference. And quality as well is a big difference. So, hey, if um, I'm going to come back to that. This last game, they're doing like a face off where they share their thoughts. Keep in mind that the score is already 1 and 3, and Team Wild pretty much got it. You know what I'm saying? So, first up is Brittany Renner and DJ Sky. Nick asks, why is natural body better than fake bodies? Brittany Renner says, I mean, everyone is entitled to do what they want to do with their bodies. Sky, high, drunk, whatever she is, self, said, a fake booty look better than a body suit. Which I guess, I mean, okay, Instagram uh, model, Instagram influencer, okay, do you. But, like, I guess it do, it do look better, though. But hey, it's not. It's, that's not all it's about. Like when you take that off, you gotta come out of that, and we see how that booty is shaped and deformed, like persuasion. Like no, it's a no for me. Um, Brittany taps in Biggie. Um, I was wondering what Biggie got to say for Team Natural, since she do got a surfboard booty. But um, however, let me get off Biggie. Like <laughs> let me get off her. But. Biggie says, when you're natural, you can eat your butt off and it'll go to every place. And when the fake butts lose weight, it feel like they lose weight in different angles. And when they lose weight, it's like, bow, straight down. Girl, what? What the fuck is you talking about? Bow, straight down. Now, maybe you was trying to say... That the natural girls, you know, they eat and their their body, their weight goes like all over their body, and compared to, and they they can lose weight and it 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 goes away perfectly, you know, perfectly shaped like all in one, like you know what I'm saying, just thoroughly, like throughout the whole body, they lose weight. Compared to a girl with a BBL, if she you think she want to stay thick, so she got the thick body with the the thick legs with the you know the bbl but however if that bbl lose weight i mean you know if the, if the girl lose weight and she can turn to a skinny body with skinny legs that bbl not gonna change you know what i'm saying maybe that's what she was trying to say but i was just confused so they tap in janelle um and they tap in smalls janelle says the females who had on bbls being her dm like but who's hold on i didn't say that right the females who had on bbls Females hate on BBLs, but being her DM, like, who the doctor, sis? And Small says, girls with a natural body, uh, their punani is better. You know, I feel like, I, I could see that. I ain't, gonna, I ain't even gonna lie. It might sound ignorant, it might sound dumb, y'all, but I could see that, like, for real. Um, the girl missing Renee is talking to Small, and she like, this punani is still good, it still works. That's my baby daddy about me. And, you know, just talking small in her face, you know, defending, you know, what small said. Um, they tried to type in Scotty and she gonna say, I'm not good at roasting. I'm not a good roaster. We we know you're not a good roaster. Like it gave me a flashback to when Scotty was going against T on um, Baddies East, right? And T was like firing up, like roasting her, and Scotty gonna say, Girl. Like, that's it. That's all you got to say? Like, I ain't want to. Maybe it's the queerest thing because I'll do the same thing. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to y'all. But I'm not just going to get ate up. Like, you know, it would be different for me. Like, I feel like they should have had T on the fake team, too, because T got to be able to be able to look very good. So, and it moves, and it jiggles. So, Scotty comes up and says, as beautiful as Janelle is while touching her, my thighs, my calves, 
in my butt. It all matches. It all comes together, which is true. That's true. She got a point there. Double those twins come to the front and all they good for is touching their bodies and, you know, shaking their booties and saying their body look good, look better. And they say their body just look better while one of them twerking. Like, we heard, like, a sentence from them this whole episode. Like, what? Well, it was pathetic. Biggie jumps in and says, all she is saying that they fly out to the Dominican Republicans, pay all that money, and her man is still living with Big Biggie. <laughs> Soldier Girl says, it be the same girls that gets the BBL and go to the gym and say they work for it. Which is true. Clock it, Soldier Girl. Clock it. Clock it. Clock it. Clock it. She needs to be on Baddie G. She got a personality. Like, and she's a mind of her own. Uh, and she a veteran like me. Like, I miss Soldier Girl for sure. Um, Nick tries to end it off with a twerk off with some more red light, like, green light music. Biggie asks the crowd who won, and they say Team Natural. So that's how Nick declared a win as Team Natural. Well, all you have to do is look. At, well, now you have to do is look at the scoreboard and be like, it's one to three right now. Team Natural wins. Like at the end of every game, they'd be like, let's ask the audience, what do they think? Who do they think won? And what if Team Bad had more um points, but the audience didn't yell that that they allowed for them, so they would give the Team Wild. Like luckily, Team Wild always has the most points or whatever. I think for the most part on each episode. But mm. Mm. So okay, this is a whole different scene. I thought I wasn't gonna see fire in this episode, however, we got to see it, right? Right. So they go backstage and before they went backstage, I guess you saw like uh Stoney talking to Soldier Girl and Smalls. I don't know if they was talking about maybe she was talking about like go get biggie. I don't know. So they go backstage and Biggie was like, she was talking to Smalls because you know Biggie and Biggie had beef. Biggie from more chance than Biggie from Baddies had beef or whatever over some name pretty much. And I think the Biggie from more chance thought it with her. I was like, who is this girl? It's only one Biggie that's relevant. And Biggie was like, girl, you know, saying I'm the relevant one, you know, stuff like that pretty much. So Biggie asked Smalls, she was like, so how you want to handle this? Yeah, I had beef with your sister. Um, it was over a year ago. It's all jokes and fun now. Small says, I don't play by my sister, but when you was on one more chance and you and your sister finna get eliminated, you, um, you dog out your sister, you did your sister wrong on one more chance. But anyways, 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 fast forward, maybe she learned from that. So all of a sudden, Small takes off on Biggie and Biggie, Biggie was acting like T in front of the reunion, like Biggie up here. So, Samal's swing up and Big up her trying to, like, she literally falling back. Like, like she not trying to get hit. Like, she trying to avoid the situation. Like, what are you doing? You, you in the middle of an altercation. Like, you big biggie. Like, come, you from Providence. Like, come with the hands. Like, it was weird. So, they get on the ground. Biggie rises like the Undertaker from off the ground and was like, you see this chain? You see that? Big biggie. Like, you didn't even fight for yourself. You, you wasn't even trying to fight. You were trying to run away from the girl. Like. This what made me this like her. Like, you want to get Big Biggie so bad, but it, it gives weak. Like, and then you fight against ET, you fight on the floor. I'm not going to hold you for that because we know you can't fight and you say something wrong with your back, which is cool. But you get on you get on this YouTube and you cap out on these videos. And then we got this situation right here. You're supposed to be Big Biggie. You're supposed to be all that. And baddies, welcome to baddies, everybody whooping everybody. And you, and you, you're trying to fall back and get away from the girl. Like, no. So, um, so Biggie was trying to go for another round, I think, at first. That's what it looked like, because Biggie was, like, showing around two. I was like, oh, hold on now. I'm like, maybe Biggie finna give my respect. However, that round two never happened, okay, y'all? So, the big, the real, the, the other Biggie come from my chance, and she was like, yo, yo, come on, come on. And she looked good. Like, the body was biting from last time we seen Biggie from my chance on TV, like, I think it's Ozempic. I don't know if she's losing weight, but allegedly. But she looks small and she, she look good. She not she not skinny skinny, but she's like thick. Like the the body is body. Like she's like a small version of thick. Like the body is body. So Biggie from my chance telling her, yo, yo, come on, like what's up? And Biggie from Baddies is uh in the corner behind security saying, Don't let her come, don't let her come over here, get her. Like, huh? And you said you want to round two at first. 
they really didn't let them fight, and the security talking about, nope, not tonight. Now, this is, now they know that we could have seen that. Like, this is the whole point of Bad Wrist Wild, old rivalries, right? So, if if this is not as TV, they would have had their round two, round three, round four. Y'all want round five? All right, everybody back up, out the way. Fight! Like, it would have went down. So, Blueface performed with Tatiana again, and yeah... If you notice, Team Wise been winning every game so far on this season, on this series. But this is my review. I definitely feel like TT versus Vanity was better in this episode, y'all. I hate to say it, but like it wasn't no personality since episode for real. Like at least we had Sapphire and TT versus Vanity. You know what I'm saying? But in this episode, we had Scott being high and drunk, and Brittany Renner. She did good, but like it didn't. It didn't carry. It didn't. Yeah, boring. Like Brittany Renner could be another Scotty for all I care. Like. No, but this is my review. Leave what y'all think in the comments. And it's your buddy, Andrew, and I'm out. Peace.